five, three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, so this is my task. It is a task. And as you can see, so far, things are working out. I mean, sorry, this isn't a task. This is me playing currently. And me playing this currently, I am going to play this really fast. And it's going to be great. I figured out quite a few things about this game while doing this. Such as... The starter you have is chosen after a certain place. I can turn the volume up and down. I know the speed is great. Look at how fast. Wow, I can't believe the trainer walked one extra step than she should have. That's terrible. A didn't have any Boneka. Oh no. Poor A. A and A were given Boneka. I can't believe it. That's great. This is going to be uploaded to YouTube as well. Just saying. A continued her journey. Like, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the volume thing. Because it seems to change. At the very least, it doesn't pause while inactive. So I can just change the volume whenever I want. So if you think something is loud... ...or not... A! A, mate. I can't help it! That would be slow, since the timing for tasks starts upon game reset. I can't do it. That would be slow. Well, I would have to move over to A. So that would be slow. If I don't move past A, then it's fast. I had to answer it. It was a question. And questions are meant to be answered. Okay, so what I didn't say is back there, when it said that I chose my Boneka, that isn't actually when I chose my Boneka. It was not said at that point. Okay, do you remember what happened? If I say yes, it takes less text boxes. So, that's faster. I don't remember my name. That's terrible. Actually, the name is the only thing that she remembers. It's very weird how that works. And, you know, a blast from the past, aka... Gonna be stopped before I can even go anywhere. Why am I going to be stopped? Because there are dangerous things and I apparently don't have any Boneka, even though I did get one from the outside world. Many possibilities, oh man, and nice, this game has a lot of graphical glitches by the way. As you can see, Chibi Marissa. It took a while before I pushed yes because I was manipulating her nature and her IVs and stuff. Because when you push yes, that is when it is set what her stats have. This version is pretty nice. So here I switch A to the front, settings, you'll notice I set the text speed to slow. That is because manipulating criticals is a lot easier when it is set to slow. In a task, slow is the fastest you can be. Tackle because, see, Remilia? <laughs> yes, RNG manipulation. In, in Pokemon, aka you never have good luck. And that's Ceramilia. She was shiny because it is set to be shiny. So I couldn't do anything to change that. And before there was a 1 in 8192 chance of her not being shiny. 
That would have been hilarious. So, here, the steps, slow is very good. The steps I take are very specific, because if I don't take these specific steps, then I will run into a lot more Boneka than I should. Such as that one. In fact, this one is the only one I'm going to be running into during this route. Actually, that's the only one I'm actually going to be running into by accident. There's no way I could man manipulate it to where I had to not fight any. Just because this. Yeah, Mystia. Mystia is pretty alright. So, the human village. This place... This place isn't really that bad. You'll notice that I am going in here first, which is not where I was supposed to go. This is because the running shoes are in there. This is the place you get the running shoes. It's pretty convenient. Except not. It would have been more convenient. They're not based on frames. They are set when you start the game up. When you load a new file, just... Oh, when you encounter something, the frame that you encounter something is when the random boneka is decided. Like, later on, you will see me just stand still for like half of a second, and that's to manipulate running into a certain boneka. Because when you encounter it is when the boneka is decided. But look at this, can you believe I'm getting no red arrows? No red arrows after all of the text. It's so great. I have learned so much about this game from Tassic. So here I buy a few repels and a couple escape ropes. The Eidol decks, yes. Okay, so you're about to see me fight the first actual trainer battle that I will fight, and this is where manipulation starts. You'll notice that I don't immediately make the text go super fast. This is because I have to wait a few frames or more to ensure to ensure that I get criticals and stuff. The critical isn't decided upon when you choose the attack. The critical is decided upon after it says A used insert attack here. So I wait a few frames before making it go fast because I need to to manipulate crits and stuff. Sometimes you can get crits really fast, and sometimes they can be, like, the worst timing ever. Which you will see later on that they can be terrible. I made that movement to ensure I don't run into that bug catcher quickly. So it may seem slow, but it was actually most optimal. <laughs> and then there's Aya. I am denying the communication of information. So yeah, I don't think I asked you how you're doing, Mr. Sergeant. But yeah, passing Nitroid would probably make that a lot better. But Hourglass is literally the worst. I switched attacks there because the critical would not have been convenient. 
And because Thundershock needs to go in the front, so that's easier to get to. And yeah, manipulating paralysis comes one text box before it says blank became blank was paralyzed and may be unable to move. So in this case, or in that case, oh, oh, that's terrible. So in the case of Simomiji, manipulating the paralysis was during a critical hit. After it says a critical hit, it is decided whether it's going to be paralyzed or not. A human. First frame talking, I hope you enjoy it. See Lily White. Okay. So, I must say, the beginning of this, I actually worked on a year ago. But I never actually decided to do it. Oh yeah, that was one example of me needing to get max damage to be able to kill. So, I waited a few frames to be able to do anything. Accuracy is checked when you select the move. So, you'll notice here I don't manipulate a critical. This is because C. Lily Black has the ability Shell Armor, and I don't know why, but she does. So I just allowed her to use... Injure. But yeah, accuracy is checked the second that- or the frame that you choose your attack. Like, later on you'll notice that I just wait on an attack for a bit. Here is something strange. You'll notice I went to the L and R menu. This is because I would not have gotten a critical frame during that. So I was just letting frames pass during the Thundershock. So there was literally no critical hit frame during that. So I had to waste frames to be able to do that. It's kind of annoying. And this is when things start heating up? No, things are not going to be heating up. So, just to be sure, the sound is okay, isn't it? Just, yeah. Yeah, the Carlet Devil Mansion, it's my favorite. Carlet Devil Mansion is the best. And I needed the crit, and yeah, I didn't need to manipulate the paralysis since she was using focus energy. So there was no problem with that. Catfish beater. The music does go away sometimes, and I don't understand why. I will tell you when I actually started working on the Taz this year. <laughs> Because, oh, by the way, nice sprite, Sakuya. You'll notice a lot of sprite glitches. Such as her turning into Romelia a few times. I don't know why it happens, but it does. So, A, she has PTSD because of, you know, that one C. Romelia boneka that attacked her and gave her amnesia. So, you'll also notice that she was walking backwards, and that was pretty great. And I don't know what's happening to Patchouli. She was just spazzing out. Accu's la later. Accu is later. Patchouli, she doesn't know what's going on. She just likes transforming into everyone. It's great. So this is text. The Gria library. It is my favorite library.
Oh no, they took books away. And then the screen flashes white because reasons. Nothing else, oh no. So this is just a really fast playthrough. Later, I guess. Hack you is pretty great. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the books, it's very depressing. The copycat lady sure likes to be patchouli, except patchouli is the copycat. Okay, so this is where things start getting kind of funny. Yeah, you can clip through that part of the stairs for some reason. It's kind of funny. Except not really. It's not really funny. What business do I have? No business at all. From what I remember, this was actually a really, really annoying fight to manipulate. See Sakuya. She has a citrus berry. So I manipulate the crit there and paralysis, but I do not manipulate the paralysis to effect because I need to get below half so that my Orin Berry activates. Why? Because I need to steal her Citrus Berry so she doesn't use it, and then I manipulate the paralysis. And this was just 100% luck. The IVs I had in Special Defense were just enough to be able to live through this heartbreak. Minimum damage did 27, and that just kills in one hit. So the thing about the berries is they don't activate unless the battle is still going when you have them. And they don't activate the turn that you get them. So she's never going to use that berry, by the way. CTC. Pretty soon is when I actually started this year. Right about here. This is where I actually started. So, I go into this grass to manipulate getting a sea patchouli. This is where things kind of go differently from a regular playthrough. I manipulate capturing the sea patchouli. And capturing the sea patchouli, it's, it's alright I guess. But since I captured it, the citrus berry still doesn't go off. And I don't name her because if you teleport, then you go right back to the other world. And you don't have to go through all the Gensokyo nonsense. And you have to walk over to that spot to trigger this cutscene. Because if you don't trigger that cutscene, then it just doesn't work. There's another spot in the game that does that. Maiden's Cappuccino. It's great. Yeah, Gensokyo. No one cares about that place. So I'm going back over here for a specific reason. And that reason is going to be this cave. What's in this cave? Something I need to catch. I manipulated stats for this. 
she has approximately 29 IVs in attack and 29 IVs in speed, and she is a naughty nature. The defense, HP, and special attack don't matter, but I caught her first ball. And I captured her and named her A. You're going to notice that I am very conceited and name a lot of my boneka after myself. It's just the way it works. And soon you will see another manipulation. Right there. So I can get Sisuwako. And believe it or not, this is actually the fastest thing that you can find to be able to learn. She needs Surf and Waterfall. A. A. Okay. Switch A to the front and use a repel. Getting three repels was perfect. And totally planned. It was! It was totally because she was best, okay? She needs Surf and Waterfall. I ran enough spaces to where the next one I ran into would be an encounter and then I used a repel just for the sake of using less steps. And... Repel's effect were off. She's in a ball, it's great! So, around this part, PowerPoint consumption is very, very, very necessary. I have to worry about that throughout, like, 90% of the run. And there was actually a list on Cerebi that pointed out the hidden items that were in the game, in Fire Red. And since this uses Fire Red's engine, they were here too. Nivy City. Repel's effect wore off. Okay. The thing about this game is... The gym leaders... They would be tough if you didn't get a level 40 before entering whatever the place is. Aerial Ace in this game is a steel type with 70 base power, which is very convenient. If it weren't, then, <laughs> then this would be a lot more complicated. So everything's going to die relatively quickly. Manipulating things was hard. Letty is a rock and ice type, so she is quad weak to Aerial Ace. So she was great, I guess. Sort of. No, she wasn't that great. Yugi, I had to switch Shadow Ball with Recover because Shadow Ball needed to go over there. It's faster to get to Shadow Ball, and I literally never use Recover. I hope you enjoyed that boulder badge jingle. It was great. I can now use Flash, even though I could have used it from the beginning. This movement I make right here? Okay. That may look weird, but in this game, if you don't fight a trainer in the gym, then you can still fight them after you beat the gym. So I ran out of repels, and that's not good. So I'm going to buy as many repels as I can with all of the money I have. And 
now we're at the part where PowerPoint consumption is... It gets tricky. So, PowerPoints. Shadow Ball, neutral, KOs in one hit, no point in using Aerial Ace. And I defeated her, can you believe it? That's a him. That is most definitely a him. I am a trainer. So, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm going to be fighting Youngster Joey in this. So, I'm sorry about that. Unless I just fought Youngster Joey, in which case, yeah. But, either way, Youngster Joey, he's pretty great. I just don't want to destroy him. Nice music. And she's dead. That's basically how this whole thing is going to go, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't care <laughs> about the rest, but it, it still gets complicated. See Regal, easy, easy Aerial Ace. If this weren't boosted to 70 power, Half of this would be extremely difficult. They aren't. I hate wearing shorts. Shorts are terrible. Done like dinner. Oh, man. So that lady, she is the worst. She made me have to do that. I mean, some of them have things that say Boneka instead of Pokemon. Does that count? <laughs> they have their original text uh, with mild changes. I tried everything I could, but I had to go in this place to get this ether. Otherwise, I would have had to go to a Boneka Center and heal there. You'll notice I will stay still for a few seconds. That is because I needed to manipulate a Seagramilia, and it was... She just did not want to appear. I needed to manipulate her because she learns everything else that C. Suwako doesn't. AKA, she learns Fly, Cut, Strength, and probably not anything else. And flash isn't necessary because no one cares about Flash. Repel... It's pretty great. That guy... Like, the dialogue may not be changed here, but later on... I do have to go to Gensokyo again. The only reason I didn't complete Gensokyo back when I could is because I wouldn't have been able to kill everything in one hit. And obviously with a level 40, things will die a lot faster. I know. The thing is, she wouldn't be able to learn Strength and Cut. Fly, but not Strength and Cut. And Strength and Cut are very good. Well, not very actually. But Cut is necessary later on. You have to have Cut, otherwise things don't work out. Oh, he'll share. He's going to be not greedy. If I actually were able to take both, I would, just to be a greedy jerk. But I couldn't. I got the Miko Orb so that he would only step 
to the... Wait, what is that? The... Whatever, I got that one fossil. And then he got the other one because saves time. That's the answer to everything. Hanada City. I am going into the center because I need to. For multiple reasons. One being I need to store things. And by things, I mean a single thing. See Sunny Milk. T to be honest, the dome fossil is better than the helix fossil anyways. I'm sorry to say. And time for the first rival encounter. Aerialis, because Shadow Ball doesn't affect her. And Patchouli. Traced Pressure. Aerial Ace, because Shadow Ball is super effective. Momiji. Aerial Ace, because Shadow Ball doesn't affect. If she didn't start off with Aerial Ace, this would be terrible. If she only started off with Shadow Ball, Confuse Ray, Recover, and Insert Fourth Move here, it wouldn't exactly be the best. Oh man, can you believe that a certain someone in my friends list is online? I can't believe that someone in my friends list is here now. I can't believe it. Okay. He feels sorry for me always plodding behind. Oh man, it's the Ratatosk Orb, aka best tells of Symphonia game, or best tells of game. Using the ether here is faster. I do think I got what it takes. I have tools, and as we know, the tools are mightier than regularly going. It's just, why would you do anything else? I mean, this is basically a giant screw you to every single RNG thing that happens during Pokemon. I love it, it's the best, and I hope you all like it too. Just everything bad that happens during Pokemon, this is just revenge for all of that. Hello, Pure Black Haze. How are you doing? Oh man, good thing you played the best one. Obviously, I just need to mod everyone since... Obviously... Everyone will be mod, and it will be great. I wonder where that Toohoo 2016 guy is. I saw him lurk in my chat before. Or her, I don't know. Minoriko faints. PowerPoint consumption is very, very, very difficult. In the end, I have just enough. I am doing great. I finished this yesterday, and I... It took a long time. So after I fight these trainers, you'll notice, or you might have heard a bumping noise. That is because I run into them for one frame and then move to the left, so I don't have to stand still for a couple seconds. Please, I'm not a mod in Knight's channel. But yeah, get better, man. It's been so long since you were your normal self. Stomped flat. Bump. Okay. See, Mistia. This trainer is annoying. 
because of the fact that she has three Mistias, and Shadow Ball doesn't affect any of them. I needed a max damage on that Mistia, otherwise I would not have been able to kill in one hit without a crit. That one, however, died to a crit, because there's no way around it. Sometimes I have to crit. I try and just get high damage rolls, but eh, can't sometimes, and it's terrible. C. Rin. She is a ghost and fire type, therefore I cannot use Aerial Ace, because steel is not very effective. So I don't know how many of you have played this game, but this game is very difficult if you're not doing what I'm doing and manipulating everything there is. Here, no, I use Aerial Ace because it's super effective, but I need the power points. And like I said, Power points, they are necessary. I have to be very cautious with the amount of power points I have. Oh man. If you weren't mod, then Ryosin would have banned you just now. <laughs> And that would have been kind of sad, but funny at the same time. Each end dies in one hit. E Wriggle. Hilariously, this is the last Shadow Ball I have, and it's the last Shadow Ball I needed for now. Oh man, Shadax just went live. During the big unveiling of my tasks. What a guy. Okay. And pass that guy so I can get this elixir. And use the elixir immediately because I need Shadow Ball power points. This guy is faster to beat than the other guy. So I have to fight him. Traveler Franklin. He's he's great. He is my spirit animal. I have to use Shadow Ball. That's that's all there is to it. I needed a crit. And that was him. I hope you enjoyed him. Her boyfriend is cool. I can't deny it, her boyfriend is pretty cool. Sue Raisin is a psychic type, therefore, Shadow Ball is super effective, so I can't use it. Raisin is a psychic type, and therefore I cannot use Shadow Ball. Because critical a critical hit has less frames than it's super effective. C2E, she just dies, I'm sorry. She's better than Raisin, but, yeah. Man, that would be amazing. Tag Chomp Meong special. See Momiji! This one has a tendency to use Detect. Actually, all of the... Riggles and Momiji tend to use Detect and Endure and stuff. So, I have to manipulate it to where they don't use it. Though there is one fight later on where I could not manipulate her to not use Protect. And it's kind of annoying. Because <laughs> I don't know what some of the RNG manipulation is in this. I have no idea how some of the RNG works in this. It makes absolutely no sense. I 
It's actually very convenient that everything I do in this order is just enough to get me the finish. Or to where I need to be. Go in here. Easy peasy. Bill is pretty, um... He's kind of an idiot. And... Yeah. Setting through cutscenes like this, just frame advancing to make sure that I don't skip any dialogue, it's pretty bad. Yeehaw! He's so southern. Also, Hayes, my... my sick is starting to show, but, Ether, and you remember when I went into the center? Yep, I did that so I could teleport back. Hello, Master Spark. You are witnessing the unveiling of my four hours, seven minutes, <laughs> and 33 seconds and 20 milliseconds Taz. It, it took quite a while. How are you doing, Master Spark? Six. E star S. She is, she's kind of a jerk. Except not, she doesn't really do anything bad. She just needs a crit and she dies. Yeah, he probably would have been better off that way. E on A, same thing as last, just critical. Because I needed to take her out. Just no way around it, she had to die. Ikomachi is a ghost and water type, therefore, I don't even have to crit. The next one gave me a bit of trouble though. Oh, I actually can give... Uh, I have to click on that, and it is 891,192 frames. There you go. I hope that you love that. I had to manipulate a full damage or max damage Shadow Ball, and max damage hurting herself, and then max damage Shadow Ball, and max damage hurting herself if I wanted to be able to take her out. It was a pretty nice boat. So that's pretty much, I'd say the one time I'm going to use Confuse Ray, but it's not. It does automatically track them. But I will have to say after the task is over. Like, if you want to see the inputs I make during the battles, I will show you the inputs during this next battle. Okay. So, input display on. Like, you can see just everything goes in such a fast-paced motion, motion when I am tassing with inputs on. Pushing A and B every single other frame. Stuff like that. I think it looks better with the inputs on, to be honest, but it doesn't really matter. Just, you can see everything going. It's pretty great. Okay, and that was the inputs during a battle. Those were the inputs, rather.
Man, most of the re-records I have for this is probably manipulating a critical hit and stuff like that. Just only because criticals and all of that. I... I could have... I press A and B, if that counts. Oh, fun fact, I don't capture any more during this entire run. Shadow Ball takes out Hina in one hit. If I didn't have that Serebii page up saying where every single ether and things were, I wouldn't have been able to do this because that one max ether, I would not have ever found it. So, uh, here I do something fancy. I hope you like the fanciness of that. It was spinning in a circle, and it was great. Spinning is fun. And... That was just so I could get Brick Break. I... I'm gonna fill it by... I don't know, hacking it? Dig... Is necessary to teach, so I taught it right there. Ugh... Tassing learning moves was kind of obnoxious. Break break, needed. Item finder strats are the best. A learned brick break. I have so many A's. Spinning sure is fun. Like, I couldn't just sit there and wait. I had to do at least something. It's still not as fast as you can spin with an escape rope. It's, it's so weird. Like, rotating once every frame. I needed Brick Break to kill her in one hit. I needed Brick Break to take a lot of things out in one hit, actually. Not this. This one's fine. I just have to use Aerial Ace. Don't even need a critical for it. Can you believe I'm spoiling things? It's pretty fun. Emomiji, another reason I needed Brick Break. Wouldn't have been able to take her out in one hit. She had a tendency to use Detect. It was very annoying. I was tempted to say obnoxious, and I was tempted to say annoying. So the next gym is going to trigger a lot of people, I'm sorry to say. I mean, I realize we're not there yet, but it's going to trigger so many people. Oh man. I'm going to get cut, and it's going to be great. Just rub someone's back and they are better, I guess. Haze, I need to rub your back. Come here. Sorry. I will test out doing that. So, there were two things I could have done. One is lose all of my Boneka here. Yes. Zero try cans. The thing that everyone hates me for is that I just do it without touching any trash cans. How did you know? Yeah, you're back. I'm gonna have to rub your back, otherwise you won't get better. Cut has 60 power because reasons. Oh, yeah, that's probably not... that's disgusting. Why would I do that? Man, 
Even I wouldn't be that polite. Man, this trainer... She is terrible. She's disgusting. So this guy, he has a Moku fetish. He is literally knight. He is the eternal knight in all of his glory. And... I don't know. He... He just really likes her. Oh man, cut. So, the second you enter the gym, that is when the trash cans are decided. And... Oh, look at that, I did it. I'm sorry to have triggered you all. By getting perfect trash can luck. Hello, Romolo. How are you doing? I am just here showing off a task. And Lieutenant Surge. I'm sorry, I couldn't do zeroth try. Flash. No one cares about Flash. I had to manipulate that to miss because Flash is a 70 power psychic type attack. Kongala is a ghost and fighting type, by the way. Sho is a rock and electric type. I learned a lot about types in this game. And she has Drizzle because... I don't know... She really wants it. Yes. Oh man. I bet you feel so good. You're just staring at Tenshi. I'm sorry. Oh man, you're going to love later on in the task now that I think about it. Just one specific part. But you're going to love it. I'm sorry. Feel good ink, oh man. Santa's breaking down on a camel's back. You will never be able to convince me that that is not what they say. Yamame literally giving everyone diseases. But I'm sure you like her anyways. Can you believe everyone on my friends list is watching my stream? I can't believe it. So when I visited the, the Boneka Center, I did it so I could teleport back there. That's literally all I did that for. Because then I don't have to walk all the way back and stuff like that. So it was faster in general. It takes so long before you can actually move to things. No Thunderbolt, I'm sorry, it was Shockwave. Oh man, I cut a tree down. This... Oh man, this to the next section. This area to the next section. I needed such good PowerPoint luck. You will know exactly how good my PowerPoint luck had to be during this. Let's just say if I didn't get Brick Break, I would have had to visit the Boneka Center in the next route. And it would have been terrible. To be honest, I'm saying a lot more than I thought I would during this. I thought it was just going to be one of those I only add very small things in there. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I wouldn't know. Because, yeah, I don't really read the, the books. Yeah, having to heal is terrible. Kurodane fever, was it? Yeah, healing in 2016, who does that? Or at least healing in a Boneka Center. No one does that. There are certain places where I'm forced to heal. As in, I don't have any choice but to heal. It literally makes me heal. I will point out some of those spots when I get to them. I would have had to heal right here. It's 2016! It is! So, navigating this place without Flash? Oh, that one. That's right. Right, it was Corridone Thread that I was thinking of. Exactly. Slow in slowing things down is kind of what Taz is about, actually. But that's not what I was trying to say. Doing things slowly and Taz do not go well together. Except when, you know, I don't think about things. Game over. Oh no, I lost. So yeah, you'll just notice I am made noticed. Past tense. Sorry, I've been playing this game too much. The grammatical errors. They're so bad. Taz is a tool-assisted speedrun. It means that I input the commands and then the game replays them from the start. So all of this was programmed in. I inputted every single input in every single frame, as you will see by the inputs right here. Sane, this was the worst Sane ever. I had to waste two frames, because the first frame that I had to make the text go fast, it would have been a crit, an unnecessary crit. So I had to use two frames just because she had to do that. <sighs> Sorry. I was very passionate about that. It was very annoying. One more step and I would have run into a thing. And I do not want to run into a thing. Iyugi. She is... Uh, I guess she's alright. Uh, I'm sorry to have to kill your waifu, pure black haze. Yeah, two frames. I I can't reset. Sane just ruins everything. Can't believe I have to redo the task from scratch just because of those two frames. <sighs> I was really hoping to get this... this task under four hours, but... Alas, everything that happens just is not meant to be. This game is too long for its own good. Like, a casual playthrough of this would probably take over three days. Unless you play at full speed the entire time, and by full speed I mean frame skip. And no one wants to do that. I would use frame skip, but this is a task, and... Frame skip is not good. Can you believe I've been streaming for over an hour? And I still have three more to go. One fourth of the way done with the entire task. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten four badges. I won't have four badges for quite a while, by the way. It'll be quite a while before I get my fourth badge. Oh, also back there, I 
didn't say, but I went the long way around because I needed to conserve power points, and he had one less Boneka than the top route guy. So it was actually faster to go through the bottom, because if I didn't, yeah, would have been bad. You'll also notice that I have one Shadow Ball left, and I am not using it. Oh man. First run of Pokemon Ruby, that must have been really fast. Max Ether. I had to restore, I think it was Brick Break, it might have been Aerial Ace. Probably Brick Break though. It was definitely Brick Break. See Letty. Easy kill, she's four times weak to fighting and four times weak to steel. Suica, weak to fighting and weak to steel, which I don't know why I'm mentioning steel since she is I don't have steel attack anymore. See Suica, I also have to use Brick Break. I am saving my one Shadow Ball because I have to. Otherwise, it would be impossible to do this without healing at a center. Can you believe I have 18 repels left? And trainer. This trainer is why I have one Shadow Ball left. Star S. Not gonna use Shadow Ball, I'm gonna use Brick Break. The next one is why I'm going to... is why I had to save a Shadow Ball. It's because she is four times resistant to Brick Break, and she has pressure. I have one Shadow Ball left, so the pressure doesn't matter, but Shadow Ball, I needed to take her out in one hit, otherwise things would not end very well. Sane! Now, unlike the last Sane, this one did not give me a critical hit on the first frame. So, that is good. And that was me navigating the dark cave without seeing. I go in this center, and then immediately leave, because I need a teleporting place. What's cute, round, and fluffy? Anyone take your guess? Take a guess, what's cute, round, and fluffy? Now, if you guess Tui, you are wrong because of what her dialogue says. Stop, don't be so mean to my cane. I wonder if she knows what a cane is because she definitely did not have one. So there is an ether in here, but only after you get done with Selfco and I don't know why. It's just that's so arbitrary. Eh, Tui Please is kind of a bad emote anyways, to be honest. Finally, something interesting to talk about right here is after this, I should mention how pickup works. See Marissa has pickup. When the screen fades to black after a battle, that is when pickup is decided. No, it's not. 
So, pickup will be decided really, really soon. And this is the only case where I am going to manipulate pickup. You'll notice I waited a bit before making the the speed go faster during the the whatchamacallit, the money earning. This is because I needed to manipulate a very, very rare pickup item. Max Ether, right there, it's very convenient that that is there, because actually everything that happens in this task is very convenient. Because if everything didn't go together like it did, then this wouldn't be here. <laughs> and I would have to heal at at least one Boneka Center, but spoilers, I don't heal at any. Brick Break, take it out one hit, because I only have Shadow Ball and Brick Break right now. Because Aerial Ace is out of power points. If I didn't manipulate her, then she would have used Endure. And it would have been terrible. Wriggle just ruins lives. Oh no, he dropped the lift key. It's very convenient he dropped he dropped it. Otherwise, this would not be possible. Shoutouts to that clumsy guy. And I got a rare candy. Now, originally I was going to be using these rare candies I'm going to be gathering for something different than what I'm going to be using them for now. But... It all works out in the end, so it's okay. Well, I enter a center, but I don't actually do anything in them. Well, I deposited Sea Sunny Milk, and the reason I deposited her will actually be coming up relatively soon. Shadow Ball. Note that I do not have Aerial Ace, just remember that. I have three Brick Break- no I don't, I have like five Brick Break left. And I need to conserve all five of them for... Uh, two fights after this, and then one specific fight after that. How can you not see the beauty? I can, but I'm forced to not, otherwise things would happen. Yes, the rare candy dupe glitch, that would be pretty nice. Just one shot everything. Yeah, I prefer blue anyways. Shadow Ball. And one more for the road. Which is Shadow Ball. So the upcoming fight is why I needed to save my Brick Break. Specifically, not for Ichen. Uh, I'm sorry, Ichen is not the reason. I had to manipulate a mist, though. Shadow Ball. Because I need to take out Ichen in one hit, and I need to save my last five Brick Break for these upcoming two, and then three things afterwards. Dark Extra Suica is a dark and fighting type, therefore she is able to be buffeted by her own Sandstream, which wastes frames and that's kind of annoying. I needed a max damage to be able to take her out without a crit. So that's cool. And Emomiji, so I wouldn't have been able to Shadow Ball. She is only normal though.
I had to, I'm sorry. And luckily the Sylph Scope just happens to be right there. And you can escape rope out of here if you really want to. Now this is where things get a bit weird. I'm going into the dojo because I need to. Remember when I said I have just enough power points to make it through to the next section? Uh, I guess it's just for laughs. I can't think of any other reason. Because the e Suica, she sure likes hurting herself with her own sand stream. Shadow Ball, take out the e mailing. So, note that I have three brick breaks left. And I need them for... this fight. Without those three brick breaks, I would not be able to beat this guy because I would only have Shadow Ball and... Simomiji is... immune to Shadow Ball. And what's worse, even if I add one, then just for good measure, he has a second Momishi. But I said I needed three. Why do you need three? Because just for good measure, he has an E Momishi as well. So I had to save three brick breaks specifically for this trainer. That hand in the mailing sprite. Too good. Fwa. This guy, he's he's kind of cool, I guess. El Yugi. El Yugi is kind of alright, I guess. Shadow Ball. I manipulate something within the a critical hit. I manipulate Still Fist to miss. And then take out El Yugi. Now I have two Shadow Balls left, and I have to face... El Suica. You could see it took quite a while for the critical hit to be good enough, because I needed a max damage crit to take out El Suica. Any less would not have worked. I waited a few moments there. This is an adamant 31 attack Suica. 31 IV attack Suica. And take the rare candy from A. Remember when I said I manipulated something during the game corner? Yeah, I manipulated a rare candy. And that rare candy was also necessary. It was part of a different plan than I had though. Oh man, hello Motoron. How are you doing? Welcome to a live stream again? That's impossible. So, El Suica, the reason I got her is because she is really good. I'm not only going to be using her the rest of the game, but it's nice. She has Cross Chop. And Emomiji is weak to cross chop. Saying it's an omen must mean that the game is going to crash or something. Rock Slide takes out Yuka in one hit. You should also pay attention to one of the other attacks that El Suica has. And like I said, I 
have almost all of my boneka named A. I'm doing great now that I finished this yesterday. Took... Took quite a while for this to be finished. Don't call me a stinker, man. Man, he calls me a stinker, and then he says, smell ya later. I would have gotten Yugi. She has more attack, but she does not have enough attack. I would have if I could have, but I couldn't, so I didn't. Yamame in, the, in one of the only games. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's the fastest heal. So I went and got that. Just so I could heal my Kongala to full with power points. So remember when I said I wasn't healing at any centers? Yeah, that is not a center technically. Jennifer, I'm... You're not betrayed, you're fine. Don't lie. Rock slide needed to manipulate the crit. So yeah, 31 IVs in attack. And adamant. This is a very, very nice. Rival A, it's just... This is all a metaphor. I am constantly fighting myself. It's always A versus A. And I'm just... It's a war in my mind. That's all this is. Something fell out. It's probably a contact. And... Rare candy. I can't click that. Okay. Not even a Suwako. I already caught a sea Suwako because I had to. Literally had to. And manipulate a crit to kill Mima in one hit. Like, literally kill because it says she departs to the afterlife so I, l so I kill her. That's all it is. So I had to do over this part of the task at one point after beating this place because I because I realized oh man I can't believe that A picked up an item Exactly meme uh cuz that's all she is she's just a big meme at this point Rock slide is enough to take her out in one hit Everything I do is 100% planned, and I won't let anyone tell me otherwise. Yeah, it took a long time. I can't believe that the meme is finally over. In between... Defeating these members, I manipulated it to where I don't run into any encounters. Because it's, it's possible to do that. Ancient power is pretty good. And no one likes Layla. This is fact, not opinion. Kappa. You're not saving anyone? Well, I must say he's not completely wrong about that. When he says I'm not, 
I'm not saving anyone. Uh, well... He's, he's not wrong. He's not 100% wrong, that is. The C Riggle was going to use Endure, so I had to waste two frames just to make sure that she didn't. Irumia. Rip. Riggle. Same as C Riggle. They're all unappreciated. She hardly counts. So, he said I'm not saving anyone. It's not true. Nothing happened! Suddenly, a man disappeared. And apparently, that means nothing happened. I, I think she needs to check her facts about what nothing is. I found a magic tome! I mean, A found a magic tome! She's non-existent is who she is. And here is just probably... This one was just an obnoxious part to test. If only because it's literally the same fight four times. So since there's nothing better to look at, let's look at the input displays. Not everyone! Oh dang! You... That sure is a rhyme! Yeah, I named everyone A. I'm controlling myself to beat myself in my mind. A bunch of myself. Oh, right, you'll notice I switched Kongala out of... or with El Suica. This is because Ghost, what their ability is, is Omega Guard, which is Wonder Guard. And they are a pure ghost type, and El Suica has nothing that can hurt them. So I had to make sure that I use Shadow Ball. It was very annoying. And before I accidentally press spacebar. Oh gosh. That already happened once, and they released, like, three C Mystias, didn't they, Ryasin? So I had to manipulate... What are words? I had to manipulate... Yokai... I mean, Yoki and... Yomu every single fight, because... Yeah, if I didn't, then they would use Protect most of the time. Eh, close enough. Never going to use them. Super effective. Can't believe that Yomu fainted. Yuyuko, Aerial Ace. I also had to make sure that no one, or that A did not pick up any items. Because there was a huge chance that she would pick up items at the end of these fights, since there were four. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, no, still more. There's still one more, never mind. Forget I said anything. Input display still on. Shadow Ball. Like, this is the one part I really don't know what to say. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have used Confuse Ray just for laughs and made them hurt themselves in their confusion. Just because. 
There is a reason I actually have Shadow Ball. Dumpster! How is it going? The Tohomon Puppet Play? Who needs a speedrun when you can have a task? Which I guess is technically a speedrun. Just an actually good one. Oh man, he fainted. And that should have been the last fight, so input display off. And suddenly more. A duck quickly. Oh man, I wonder who it is. I really don't know who she is. I have never seen her. What does she mean we meet again? This is the first time that... Who is Aya? I've never seen... Oh wait, yeah, I have seen someone named Aya. I've never seen Marissa before. I... I don't know who Marissa is. I didn't really finish Gensokyo, so I have no clue who this is. I don't even know what she's doing. What is she doing here? Okay. But yeah, for those who missed it, I teleported out of Gensokyo. After not visiting any centers. Also, here is where I used the rare candies. I was planning on using them to make A grow to level 61 so that she could have Destiny Bond and take out the final Boneka of this next... Of this next boss. Because 255 base defense, 255 base special defense, and 200 base HP. I don't like that. So I was going to use Destiny Bond to take them out. She's probably not bad. I don't know if I'd say anyone's bad in this game. Hey! The one who isn't level 61. I had to use Confuse Ray because I needed to switch A in safely so that I could use Thief. And what does Thief do? I stole Bright Powder. I hope you can see where this is going. I needed A to faint here because if she didn't, then she would get experience. Yes, A Kane. It would use S Tenchi. Sorry to say. Oh, the three rare candies? If I didn't have them, I wouldn't have been able to one-shot El Yomu. Because she has shell armor, and I can't crit. Ziyu Yuko! Yay! 255 base defense and special defense and 200 base health. So I had to use Confuse Ray so that she didn't annihilate me. Yeah, that is weird. I don't understand why, but it's a thing. I don't even know how a cane works. One shot everything? I mean, if it helps, I was planning on using a Marissa at the beginning. But then I realized I can just teleport out of Gensokyo, and I decided, hey, how about instead of using A Marissa, I just capture a level 40 and then one-shot everything. It's probably better that way. Okay, so now that it's been about an hour and a half, um... Just going to fly back. I'm just going to teach fly to see Romilia. 
Oh gosh. She is aggro. <laughs> Took the bright powder. Let's go to the... It says Scarlet Devil Mansion, but... Carlet Devil Mansion. So now that... I... Went... And got Fly and all that stuff. I think it's about time I go and do what I was supposed to do about... Uh, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes ago. And that is go get the Scarlet Tome. That... The Scarlet Tome. That... Uh, patchouli said was in this place. It's great. So, yeah, I'm just going to do what I was supposed to do an hour and 20 minutes ago. Except, you know, with a level 60. And I'm going to one-shot everything. Hey, give a choice scarf to an Agron, and Agron is really almost fast, okay. Or give it autonomize just because low kick. Oh right, navigating in the dark again. That's always fun. Especially when it's a new place, and there are a bunch of nameless ghosts. Level 15. Ha. <laughs> Aerial Ace. Literally annihilated. Dead in one hit. She... she's just a rip. Killing everyone in one hit now that I have a level 60. I know, what is this, Gen 2? Just... think about it. When you go to Kanto in Gen 2, the first route has, like, level, what, 70s? 50s? Maybe? 56? And then... What about the starting trainers in Kanto? The ones that start in Kanto are going to be having a really, really hard time. It's not going to be good for them. It's going to be very upsetting. They're going to be discouraged. Oh, dang, that's probably not safe. And before people say, It's not ash, it's red. I'm just like, yo, calm down. Wow, no one said it yet. That's amazing. I'm so surprised. And now if anyone says it, it's probably going to be Ryosen, and he's going to put a kappa afterwards. No one said it. That's amazing. I am proud of you all. I, I am so proud. I am so proud of you all. None of you went through the trouble of saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, one-shotting... Uh, wow. There you go. One-shotting all of the Prism River sisters. It's pretty cool. Also, a strange fact. When you teleport away, apparently that gets rid of one of the flags to fight this trainer. He doesn't fight you if you teleport away from Gensokyo. I have no clue why. But it's, it's the case, and the case is pretty solid. So, after about a minute and 25 
No, an hour and 25 minutes. I finally got the Scarlet Tome back, and I'm going to give it to Patchouli. So that makes two tomes we've gotten. Hey, Ash is amazing, don't lie. Hey, it's not glitching into the real world if you are teleporting. I used something that the game gave me at the very beginning of the game. It's not my fault that they that they didn't think someone wasn't going to go into a center. I was perfectly fine. And please, three hours of grinding. It would take, like, no hours of grinding, technically. I would just have to be really silly about it. So, I can fly away. That's... I don't have to worry about anything because I can fly. It's great. I don't have to worry about having to run back through all of the trainers. Just fly and I'm fine. So the reason I went here, instead of going up from the Carlet Devil Mansion, Orange Islands, man. Okay. Anyways. I is I have to trigger this flag. If I don't trigger all of the flags that I'm going to trigger, then I just cannot get one of the tomes later on. Yeah, I have to worry about everything. It's not level 600. It can't go past 100. Remember earlier when I said I could not manipulate one of them to not use Protect? This is the one. She literally only uses Protect and I have no idea why. And it's very obnoxious. Aerial Ace is going to take out C. Suica, and it's going to be fun. Oh man, I'm sure she'd like that. Then C. Suwako, I'm sorry about this brick break. But I'm not sorry. There's a difference. It's for the sake of speed, so I had to do it. I remember playing Omicron, though I forgot about that. All of that movement I just did is because I didn't want to run into an encounter. Every time you leave a route, the encounters in said route, it resets. True, but I, I somehow doubt that that counts. Because don't they like go to level zero afterwards? Destiny Bond, remember when I wanted that before? I don't anymore. Missing No is overpowered. Can you believe? <laughs> Wait, please. Can you believe that since you can transfer Pokemon from uh, from Gen 1 from the Virtual Console to the Pokemon Bank and then transfer them to Gen 7. That means that you can get a Kangaskhan that knows Sky Attack and a Machamp that knows Fisher. Second flag that I needed to trigger is this one. If I didn't trigger this one, the next flag would not have come up. Also, he's really Japanese. 
大丈夫 And here I leave the forest because yeah I did too at one point and then I got rid of it and by got rid of it I mean stopped caring <laughs> one ether cool that's just laying there and it's kind of hilarious so I left there because I didn't want to fight trainers and have to use repels so instead I'm going to enter from the back and since I'm entering from the back that means I don't have to worry about getting into encounters in this grass and I can go in here it probably will and I have to step in that one spot so that an event will trigger and this is event flag number three I had to do all of this, otherwise I would not have been able to, uh, oh it is, that's right, uh, if I didn't get, uh, what was I saying, if I didn't hit all of these flags, I wouldn't have been able to fight Marissa, and I wouldn't be able to get a golden, t not a golden tome. I wouldn't be able to get a tome later on. Also notice that I already got the tome from the netherworld, but I have to fight Marissa anyways. Hey, that's what I did! Dumpster, that is exactly what I did. Just save state, trade the boneka, and then reload state and then repeat and suddenly you have every Zeboneka definitely biased and with that she healed my Boneka without even having the healing noise. Oh, you didn't consider save state? <laughs> well then! And... With that, you'll notice the fairies are there. Wow, that seems a lot more complicated than, <laughs> than save stating. And now I can fight Marissa. Still no red triangle at the end of any of this text. Can you believe these are frame-perfect dialogue changes? So now I need to fight Patchouli. Real question. What is the real question? Everyone almost does. Almost everyone does. Don't worry, it'll probably be everyone who has one. Just everyone's going to have one, and then no one can ban anyone. That's the way this is going to work. Unless I just unmod everyone, and I worry about it, and just make one mod. It is what happened. I remember. Okay, so soon you're going to see another form of... Hey, oh wait, first, first, she lost the golden tome, oh no, we'll never get it. 
She dropped the book somewhere around Hakuyokuro? Oh man, we already got that. Turns out to be a fake. It was just an ordinary book. Mwenduka, not Mwenzuka. Oh man, she's so good. Gotcha. What did she get me on? I mean, I have the tome. What did she, what is she having trouble with? So I need you to pay very close attention to Aya when I in, when she enters the house and when she starts moving. When Aya starts moving, just pay very close attention. Okay. So she just changed into like three different sprites right there. The sprites were Sakuya, herself, Marissa, and I believe Patchouli was in there somewhere. That is called good sprite work. It was great. Oh man, she lost them in the netherworld. Yeah, I know it doesn't have to do- wow. Okay. And last flag. This is the last flag I need to trigger to be able- <laughs> to be able to do anything with the later tome. Literally have to talk to that guy, otherwise things won't work. And you can just teleport to Hakugyokuro. She is. Mamizo was the video the whole time. Now, remember that old man we didn't save back there? Now we are. If only because he just takes us back down to the bottom. Such a nice guy. Next! <laughs> this is where things start getting fun. Oh, you can't use the bike in Gensokyo, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I don't know why, but you can't. So, taking the elevator, if you take the elevator, it loses 5 frames, so I saved 5 frames by going up the steps. I hope you're happy that I took the time to figure that out. <laughs> I bet. Found the card key. Now, it's going to start getting fun with this next thing that I do. Focus Punch! This is where it starts getting fun. Like, really fun. <laughs> Sakuya's spawn everywhere? Five more frames. Just five frames are safe. So I didn't teach Focus Punch yet, but that's because I don't need to. So, Focus Punch, 150 base power, plus stab, that is 225 power without a crit. That is how much damage that a uh, Rock Slide does with a super effective hit. So with a not very effective hit, Focus Punch does the same amount as Rock Slide, except Focus Punch has 20 power points. Fire Blast, missed. Oh man. 
Sophia is literally Dio. <laughs> that is fair. This game does have ridiculous leveling. So, it'll not be too long until I teach Focus Punch. Uh, after this battle, to be specific. Rock Slide, I didn't use Cross Drop because it doesn't need a crit to kill. So, it doesn't have to waste time saying a critical hit or it's super effective. Her, however, I did. It was Dio the whole time! Oh no! She would have used Endure if I didn't wait two frames. Ancient Power, that's pretty great. Just think about what it is that all of the attacks I have do. Alright, time to teach one punch to Suika. Replace Oni Binding. Oni Binding is spite. That's all it is. The evil Mel hath a. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what it is. Erumia. Cross Chop. Whoops. If I didn't wait two frames. Sometimes they don't use Endure. Also, one punch. It's great. I had to manipulate her to miss right there since I have the Bright Powder. And one punch her. But you almost had good grammar, but you didn't have the capital in and the period at the end. Level 56. So, El Suica has less attack than, uh, uh, what's your face right now? But it doesn't really matter. Because... She's going to be a lot stronger in an amount of time. A very small amount of time to be exact. Remember this path. Can you believe this gym gave people trouble? Grammar? I can't believe you're saying that while spelling grammar right. Okay, so now it's time for the battle with the fourth gym battle. The fourth gym leader. Deukari has the ability gap so I cannot get criticals on her. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use ancient power. Gotta raise all my stats and you'll notice I waited there for a second. That's so I could manipulate a miss. Hello, Tatatosk. How are you doing? I am just showing off my Taz. I have been leaving her in the in the back of the team because yeah. Fine. Grammar and spelling are slightly different. But 
So, focus punch, because one punch is great. Just one punching everything. And that's about as much as a rock slide would have done. She is a flying and psychic type, so she dies. Yeah, that, that was a great time. All level 100 Zs. Those were great. Oh no, not buffers. E. Biakarin, Rock Slide, she dies. One hit. So there's one thing I don't understand about this next Boneka. L. Ike, she is a Steel and Psychic type. Right? Then why did I have to manipulate a critical? Because it's not very effective. Why is it not very effective against the Steel and Psychic type? Unless this is Gen 1 mechanics, in which case, wow. One Punch Oni. The best show on Twitch. Because that's what this turns into. I use the elixir here because I have to... I love how I just get rid of those for absolutely no reason. Oh man. Paralyze everything with Volt Tackle? That's... Were you save states coming it? Anyways, on to the fifth gem. Considering most of the battles in World Link were... Uh... Were double battles. That... that was complicated. Suika is overpowered, okay? Who needs Kongala when you have an Oni that can kill everything in one hit? Of course they appreciate it. Suwako is very okay with it. All of the Boneka in there appreciate it. I'm sure of it. Aha. Uh -huh. Fair enough. Not everything... But she, she's stronger, but Suika has Ancient Power, which can boost her stats. So she can one-shot everything with certainty. That's the only reason I have Suika over Yugi, is because she can Ancient Power boost. Because Yugi is like 10 points of attack stronger. Ten base attack stronger, that is. Speaking of ancient power boosts. Good job, Dumpster. Everything works perfectly. Manipulate a Thunder Wave Miss, and then Focus Punch. I mean One Punch, sorry. Though I must say, I think the best decision I made was making a sound bite of the One Punch from the opening of One Punch Man. It was great. That way I had something to listen to every single time I used Focus Punch. If I didn't get the Ancient Power Boost, I wouldn't have been able to beat E. Conico without 
a crit, and I wouldn't have been able to beat El Medicine with a crit. Oh man. Smashing everything. Can't wait till you're normal type only, where you use Kadama and Tori. It'll be great. So I was going to teleport, but I realized, oops, I didn't walk in to the center. Also, congrats on the two hour mark. So only two hours, seven minutes, and less than 30 seconds. And less than 20 milliseconds. Run away from Genji, because no one cares. And just... I don't know how many people know about this. Oh. Okay. I don't know how many people know about this. But there is... A Max Elixir right there. Yeah, I still would have had to go into the Haku Gyokuro, though, because you get fly from there. Using cut is surprisingly faster than walking around. Nice, 123,000. And 12. Genji just... he's gone. I'm sad that I used the bike. Because I love this song. It's great. It's one of the best songs in the entire series. Except, you know, this one doesn't play the whole thing. There's a Quick Claw up there I was planning on using at one point. But after I figured out that Yoki had the Bright Powder, why bother getting the Quick Claw? It's just a waste of frames. Wait for it. Repel's effect wore off. Okay. Uh, that would be slow though. I can't help it. I have to not make Suika kill everything wild. Our Hiso Tensoku. Another thing I didn't know about this place is... you'll find out after this fight. Juggler Kirk, Kirk Q to be exact. Medicine is going to die in one hit because that's just the way El Suica works. She is overpowered. And by overpowered, I mean OP. And by OP, I mean one punch. You see how everything works out? It just flows together so well. Grimmy is the best bird. Needed a critical. Ihina. And Ihina is about to faint. Oh, I didn't need a critical even. Wow. What a pathetic one she is. So here, I had no idea that there was a path you could go right here that skips running into that trainer right there. Until I looked very closely, I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. Is it? Yes, it is, and I am okay with that. Lude Tenchi, which I don't have. Lude Reimu. I'll just go with Lude Reimu. I needed a... Uh, 
man, a, a middle range crit right there to be able to kill her. Or take her out, not kill. That's violent. Cross Chop takes out Isasha. Because, you know, this poison type has two dark types. Okay. And when I say two, I mean three dark types. Nice. I'm glad that three dark types are great. So, her attack, Rose, and all of that stuff. Deer Force. And Focus Punch. One punch to victory. A deer in Bambi, you know, Bambi's mom. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that was just... That was just... Actually, in taste. That was in my best interest. So, you know, for someone who claims to be a poison type... He sure only had three poisons and three darks. And for some reason a dragon, and the bug ground, uh, I don't know. So like I said before, I cannot run into any of these trainers because they are able to be fought. Nice. I'm sorry, but she deserved it. She was working for the enemy. I'm just fighting against evil, okay? Okay, so I have six badges now. And I can teach strength. And surf. Also notice Kongala can learn Surf. That is all. It's it's really stupid, but she can learn Surf. Reasons. Teeth. Gold teeth, my... Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Also nice, Romelia is Totodile. I am, obviously. That's how it works. So... I'd like you to note that I went in that center. Just, I have to say, I have to say it. Because... <laughs> yeah. I just have to tell you that I went into that Boneka center. You all saw it. Alolan Executor too good. Man, I have eight new messages. So, here I am in this place. And, fun fact, during, after the Koga fight, uh, a picked up a PP up. You'll notice I hesitate for a frame in a few seconds. Right here. That is because if I didn't hesitate, I would have run into a level 66 Flandra. And just because Flandra. And the repel doesn't work on ones on a higher level, and I am level 61, so level 66 would have bypassed it. So I still want you to note that I went into the Boneka Center. Alright, I want you all to answer the question truthfully. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this one right or wrong? I 
I hope you have time to read it. Of course you have time to read it, because... It pauses for a few seconds. In hell? Yeah. Makes sense to me. Okay, good. Nine badges indeed. Okay, and that was quiz time. It was very obnoxious, tassing the quizzing. It was terrible, because it was boring. But it doesn't matter, because it's time to annihilate things. So, cross chop is over. Hey, Moku, dead. Electric, super effective against cr It is! You're learning a lot. Toho Mon Go is when it comes out. Yes. Ancient power, fire and flying, four times a week to it. They changed Tombstoner. It's very upsetting. But it surprisingly made the question a lot more com it made it more complicated. <laughs> Swim Sudo Tuho. Didn't need a boost, so I didn't get one. And E Rin. This is why I needed one more ancient power. I needed uh if I didn't use cross chop on the a Moku, I wouldn't have had anything to affect Erin. And just because I can, it's time to go for the one punch. True, she is. Uh, I'm glad that you realized. Fire Blast. Don't waste it on a water boneka. Now, you see... Something about Fire Blast... Is that this is kind of... It, it's weird. I didn't expect it to be the case, but it, I'm just going to drag out the sentence for a while. But, it just had to be true that Fire Blast is good right here for Suica. Even though her special attack is terrible, and I didn't realize I was going to be using Fire Blast, so I manipulated Adamant on her. Also, I went in the Boneka Center in Tokiwa, right? So why am I not able to teleport there? When I teleport, it says teleport to the last healing spot used in... in freaking that stupid island I was just at. Ugh. Sorry, that made me upset. This has to be my favorite trainer in my favorite trainer fight in the entire game. Because, um, uh, one punch. The gender ratio makes perfect sense. Um, one punch. Critical one punch. There we go. That was the one punch trainer.
So the reason I got Fire Blast put on El Suica not long ago is due to this trainer right here. He is the only reason I put Fire Blast on El Suica. Because of Iyomu. Rock isn't very effective. Fighting doesn't affect, so I had to go with Fire Blast. Fudo is great. Fudo is the best 2 who 13. Mind's Eye raises her attack. Sharply. So, yeah, Focus Punch. Why did I use Focus Punch? I could have used Fire Blast. No, she's part rock. Okay, yeah, it wouldn't have killed in one hit. I think she's part rock. Who cares? The point is... One Punch is great. Just defeating everything in one punch is amazing. Like, who cares about actually trying? And then Fire Blast on e -Kane, I guess. Got a crit. Cool. Uh, you find out... Uh... Uh... I don't know... They write whether they are on a paper? Yoshika is a dummy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that works too. You ask her for photos. Perfect. Giovanni, the greatest trainer of all time, and his annoying boneka, D.L. Rumia who is not affected by Focus Punch because she is part ghost. And I have to get an Ancient Power Boost because of that. Now you'd think that would be the end of it, but no, I had to get a, cri a critical. It, I didn't have to get the stat gains though. I'm sorry, I had to. It was for the greater good. The Isuika, affected by her own sandstorm, but I'm not, so that's convenient. And one punch. I don't know if I can agree with that. That's a really stupid saying. I don't remember. Do I have to manipulate a critical on her? She's a dragon fighting type, by the way. I don't understand why, but she is. Okay, I didn't have to manipulate a crit. I would have if the sandstorm weren't active. That's what I was trying to figure out. And she has Intimidate, but Oni Strength is... either Hyper Cutter or Clear Body. No, it's Hyper Cutter. And one punch. One punch Suika, best anime. Except Toho is not an anime. Yoshika is prime evidence of the exact opposite, okay. Focus punch, one punch. It's done. Eh, she probably is. The Earth Badge! And there we go, I got the 8th Gym Badge. It only took 2 hours and 20 minutes.
Alright, time to go to the Boneka League. So we start out with fighting myself again. My male counterpart, if you will. And manipulate what is equivalent to Brave Bird missing. And Ancient Power. Critical Ancient Power. Critical Ancient Power with a stat boost. So... This is going to be good. That's basically what it boils down to. Broils down to... I don't know, is it broils or boils? Who cares? All that matters is... One Punch. Just... This is what I wanted to see in the Taz from the very beginning. <laughs> is just Focus Punch destroying everything. Well, I guess Fire Blast works too. Getting that special attack rise made it to where I could kill with a critical. I wouldn't have been able to. Sunny Milk. I used Focus Punch here specifically so I would get hit by Swagger. Now, why did I need to use... Or, why did I need her to use Swagger? The answer is coming to you shortly. I was going to name her One Punch, but I couldn't. Because of that. <laughs> Ancient Power. I wouldn't have been able to one-shot her without a crit if I did not get Swagger boosted. This isn't 100% optimal, by the way, just some things for fun. He wasn't even on a bike, how did he make it ahead of me? He walked into a fence and then disappeared. Oh man, I have the soul badge, can you believe it? And an ether. I don't know why it took so long for that to collect. I pressed it on the first frame I could, but it took so long for the text box to appear. Oh man, Aaron from... Uh, Attack on Titan. That's obviously who you're talking about because... E-R-I-N. Welcome to... Uh, Boulder Pushing Simulator. I did go back and try the second frame. I went and tried a lot of frames, but that one is the only one that would make me waste that much time. That cue is great. Boulder Pushing Simulator is my favorite simulator. It's almost as good as Bike Simulator. Except this is Bike Riding and Boulder Pushing Simulator. It's the best of both worlds, I love it. Okay. 
Repel's effect were off. Repel. Yeah. Four repels left, unfortunately. But I guess it's fine. I used... I mean, A used strength. Which A? It's up to you to find out. Was it just a sprite glitch that it showed C. Romilia? Or was it actually C. Romilia? Max Elixir right there. Wow, posting links in my chat. What are you, a normal person? So I didn't use a Max Elixir yet. Because I don't need to. That's, that's the reason, I'm sorry. That's the only reason. Yes, it was Agron. Oh no, it was Dio Agron. It was Kane. A Kane, to be exact. To be specific, rather. Because I'm pretty sure specific is more... Correct. She is four times weak to Fire Blast. And it still requires a crit. Because Ace Weeka's special attack is garbage. L. Alice, I could not use Fire Blast to kill her. Because Suika's special attack is garbage. So instead, let's one punch. Any out of bounds? There are not any out of bounds from what I know. Even if there were, I would I prefer this not be out of bounds. Because, I mean, it's just. It's, it's fun. Critical one punch, oh man. Elliot. Elliot. Terrible spelling is great. Rainbow Daijobu. So, she is. Fire and Ice type. So if I used Rock Slide, that would be uh, 450 power for Rock Slide. And Focus Punch on a regular super effective hit also has 450 base power. I may be wrong about 450. Now, the second Elite Four member. This is Bruno. AKA Annoying. His F Mei Ling has a Quick Claw. But it doesn't matter because Focus Punch always goes last. And then I just one punch it. Because Focus Punch with a critical is really good. Hey Moku, doesn't matter, just rock slide. Don't worry, it'll get more crazy than 5 to 10 levels ahead. It'll be a lot better than that. Focus Punch, she is a rock and fighting type, so she is weak to fighting, which means she's dead. This one lady is a ground and dragon type, and she is not weak to one punch, but she might as well be. 
everything might as well be weak to one punch, because one punch finishes all. El Yomu can't affect with one punch, so. I have to use Fire Blast, and unfortunately, this may look like it does over half, but it doesn't. It just does one less than half. So I have to get that and the manipulate a burn. That kind of made me mad. <laughs> Just that one wasted frame. Because well, not even one. Just wasted time because she had just low enough special attack. It's very depressing. He wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. That could be taken the wrong way somehow. You did, but that's okay, because you probably didn't want to see her die anyways. Ancient power. Got the crit. Hey, I'm sorry for even doing that. Speed row, special attack, and special defense. And I needed a second one. If only because this is not really the first introduction to a certain type of Boneka, but it is one of them. And DL Hina, she requires two stat boosts to take out with a focus punch in one hit. I mean, one punch in one hit without a crit. Elu Yuko. I'm pretty sure I only need one stat boost to take her out with a critical in Rock Slide. But I needed two for her last one. Which is not Elkana. Actually, I take that back. I did need two stat boosts for Elkana. Because, I don't know, she's really defensive, I guess. And then this is the. It's supposed to be the second. No, no. No, never mind. This is. Z Mima. She exists. Barely. She barely exists. She's dead. Though, so it's fine. If I had intuition, then that would make this entire thing so much funner, because then I could just use intuition. I think intuition. Intuition is... uh... foresight, right? Uh, either way, I could just one-punch every ghost, and everything would be fun. <laughs> e. Sasha! He actually has a dragon type, I can't believe it. A dragon type which is weak to fighting... ...and dead. Because... ...one-punch finishes all. One-punch is too good. Zero Melia. Second verse, same as the first. Oh man! Yeah, I just need my Venomoth. Yeah. Fun fact, I was actually tempted to go through the first part of the game normally just so I could get a last tag and get a last word Boneka at the very beginning, but then I realized that it wasn't going to work. Also, this is the fun part, she uses Spore. Spore in this game, uh, Spore in this game gets you, 
get you confused at the cost of raising your attack two stages. It's basically a second swagger. Uh, get mini. I did, and I had to make sure to avoid those. It was kind of sad. She is a psychic and fighting type, so I needed a critical one punch, and she dies. Ancient power, sometimes it works with me and sometimes it works against me. Now it's time for the champion. Wow, it only took 2 hours and 36 minutes to get to the champion. I'm so slow. Elia, she just... Basically... Ancient power. Critical ancient power, to be exact. And that. And... That's pretty much going to clean up the rest. You manipulate them while it says A used blank. That is how you manipulate them. You test every frame until you get the crit that you need. Also, 10 levels ahead. Super effective. It's dead. Three hundred fifty HP, cool. Z Yuka. She has to bulk up to gain her power, and then she just one shots because focus punch. El Suica. Same thing I did the last El Suica. Just one punch. Works every time. I don't know why. That guy, he just doesn't know how to use El Suica, I guess. This El Patchouli terrified me, because even after the Ancient Power boost, when I was testing how well it would go, she outsped me. And she kept hitting even though I had Bright Powder. And turns out her ability is Elegant, which increases her accuracy. And what she had is a Quick Claw. So I somehow managed to manipulate the Quick Claw to activate. Uh, what level was A? Uh, around 68. Sixty-eight or sixty-seven. One of those. Now, I would speed things up, but that would make the task invalid, so I'm not going to. It's a strange stone. I obtain- A obtain the dream stone. So, I'm going to Turn the input display on so you can see when I try soft resetting. I start trying to soft reset right there, and after this time, it finally does. Who needs to watch the credits when I still have more of the game? Good NPC. They're great. Okay, I healed just now. Exactly! She needed to be female, like AA. Sior86! Hello, Sior. How are you doing? It's been quite a while. I had to do this Taz eventually.
Oh man, who am I? Who are you? But yeah, A B U A B A using A. It's great. So many A. Oh, right, the Dream World. If I didn't beat Marissa back there in Gensokyo, I wouldn't have been able to visit this place. This is... that's the only reason I went back to fight Marissa, is because I had to. Yeah, deep blue water! Do you not see it? It's deep blue water. I'm not worried about using power points here. Because... I heal directly afterwards. No, it's definitely deep blue water. But don't worry. It's just because colorblind. Everything looks blue to A. And if something doesn't look blue, she just assumes it's shiny. Look at how fast this health bar is going down. Oh, there it is. I don't know about you, but I think that that water looks perfectly blue. Nice crickets. Or birds. I don't know what it is in the background. Outside. That happens like every night. Ancient power. Boom. Boom. All set to kill things. Like I said, I'm not worried about losing any power points. It is a very young mailing, just a non-canon mailing. Hakure. Now, she is a fighting and psychic type, so Focus Punch wouldn't have been able to kill without this crit. Therefore, yeah, I had to get the stat boost because of that. Emima. She's dead. That's cool. Okay. Okay, and there I healed. Now, if you want to know what colorblind drugs are, if you want to know what deep blue is, whoa, a deep blue water. Now this, I am questioning the definition of blue. It, it is the most blue water you will ever see. Another orange? Wow. Why so many? All you have to do is one punch and it's gone. That's all that you need to do in this entire game is just one punch. Someone just needs to hack the game to change focus punch to one punch. That's because that's what it does. It just one punches. She is. She is the guardian 
and she guards everyone. Except it's not red, it's blue. Did you not see that it said the deep blue water? The game knows more. Yeah, superpower is bro fist, but it's not one punch. So this is fun. Yep, that was cool. Good job, Mimi-chan, you did it. That is Mimi-chan's only attack, and it is pretty cool, I guess. She is escorting me to the front of that one place. Now it's time for fake Yomu. And now she's fake Komachi. It is. It is a one hit KO move with 100 accuracy. And I think it bypasses Bright Powder's accuracy check. But, Destroy only has one power point, so that's the trade-off you have. Don't want to waste all of the power points on Focus Punch and Rock Slide, because after this I do not get healed. A very small amount of time, actually. Z Ellie. Z Poneka are weird because Z Ellie is a normal type. And she's dead because she's a normal type. So, yeah. They should probably change everything to not normal rock or steel or dark. Otherwise, they are going to get KO'd in one hit. So, one of the trainers in this place is the worst. Just the worst trainer in the entire game. This one. I have to switch A to the front instead of A. Why? Yes, a four-hour test. It's because the stupid ghost. The stupid ghost that is weak to Shadow Ball. Only Shadow Ball. Oh yeah, I did forget Ice. Man. Hello, Carissa. How are you doing? It is. I'm just... Uh, I'm just two hours and 48 minutes into this. So, brain dying. It's great. A does need to be more like A. And Suica goes right back to the front. Cause like I said, she is great, and like you have seen, she is great, and she will destroy everything. She will destroy lives, and there's nothing you can do, even if the opponent uses Perish Song, which if I didn't manipulate her to use Perish Song, she would have used Protect for like 10 frames. So I had to use 10 frames up just so she would use Parish Song and then Fire Blast. I uh, didn't memorize all of the stuff, but uh, details. Repel's effect wore off 
sadly, I could not make it to where I used a repel any later. I had to use one right here. There's no way around it. I really wish that there were, but there wasn't. So, I had to deal with that. I tried whatever I could. And time for this one, this lady. Uh, El Suica is the only one that matters at this point, because I'm pretty sure she's the only one I'm going to be using in this game at this point. And her IVs, her attack is 31 and she's adamant, because I didn't really need any non-special attack lowering natures. Her special attack, I'm pretty sure, is 25. And her speed is enough to get by. Yeah, so basically I only manipulated the things I needed. Attack, sort of special attack. I didn't need too much special attack. And speed didn't 100% matter, because just destroying everything, what's the point? Ancient power boosts speed, so no point in anything else. 11 levels ahead, who cares, focus punch. Also, this game has nice sound font. sound, they really should have fixed it, because this is kind of bad. I... I would have had to maybe lose a little bit more frames by doing that, and... Uh, okay, this wasn't a 100% serious task, okay? I too hit KO'd it, just... Uh, I could have uh, more effort than I already took. Actually trying. I mean, I tried a lot, but it uh, doesn't take much to worry about this. Punching things. Jade Tome. So yeah, this is the reason I had to fight Marissa back in Gensokyo is because I would not have been able to get that tome otherwise. Manipulating IVs is harder than you would think it would be. Also, for some reason, if you teleport and when you come out of that, you go to the Hakurei Shrine... I... I... whatever. I figured that out. After I was like, huh, I wonder what happens if I teleport. Because I don't want to use a repel. Turns out that happens, I guess. Sure. Now, Sane Kochia, she... I could have fought her a lot earlier. So, she is level 60. And dies in one hit to Rock Slide. Or at least that one does. Oh, Kaneko. Also dies in one hit to Rock Slide. With a crit. I mean, she dies in one hit to Focus Punch without a crit, but... Eh. Rock Slide. Same as El Conico. See, Sané? 
this is the one reason I was actually planning on getting El Suica, is because her ability is Omega Guard, which as we have established is Wonder Guard, and she is a flying type. And Kongala does not have any... any... attacks that are good against flying. Except for Confuse Ray, and then El Suaco comes in. And welcome to the only time in this fight that I am forced to use Focus Punch. Okay. So everything actually fits together pretty perfectly. I have to step back in that one place for the trigger of this cutscene. And this is where Dumpster is going to like this, and Romolo, if he's still here, will like this as well. Another strange people appeared, says Reimu. I can't help it, it's, it's my favorite pastime. Oh, the limit. Oh, well then. It felt pretty alright. Level 46, Iiku. I was supposed to fight Tenshi before fighting. Watch your face. Also, uh, please don't ban me. Please, please don't ban me. Please, please, please don't ban me. Okay, there we go, 9 experience. I am okay with that. E Tenshi. Uh, it was either use Focus Punch, which is super effective, or use Rock Blast. No, no Rock Slide, which is not very effective. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get banned. Z Tenshi is the reason I needed the Ancient Power Boost. And Rock Slide. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure if people can stream Senron Kagura, then I can have that one small thing. Something is definitely wrong here. Okay, and now to go back, because I have to trigger this cutscene. You heard it. You heard them. Two hours and 58 minutes into the run is when it starts getting different. Yomu. Okay, that's fine. Okay, if they can stream that too, then that's... Yeah, I, I don't know what that game is, but I'm going to assume that it is like the other one. Rock Slide, because she is a Steel and Ice type, so it won't show it's not very effective. So, note that I was supposed to fight her before going into the, the real world. That's why her Boneka are level 28. So she is kinda under leveled. Oh, an hour, unfortunately. <laughs> But only because I decided to do the second part, the second half of this game as well. Because, I mean, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be the same if I didn't. Okay, good. I'm going to assume it is. So, I had to fight her so I could get Waterfall. And I could only get Waterfall after fighting Sané. And that's why I went to fight Sané. And buying things, yeah. 
99 ether and 99 repel. Why? Because it was faster. Except, you know, the money cost. But, eh, the money cost, yes. Repel now? Yes, okay. <laughs> That's alright. That's how much it could have ended. But I decided to just go full. Full game. So I did. Alright, see you later, Motoron. Yes, Suwako is a whale, and Chirno is not a whale. So I'm gonna have to go by there again, so I decided to just go through here. And a reminder, you cannot use a bike in Gensokyo. That's why I am running. Remember the ether I collected? It's there again, but I have no need to collect it since I bought 99. Even though I probably didn't need to, but eh, eh. like I said, not 100% serious. Wow. Nice. Nice emote. I have to do what Cherno says. I'll get in trouble. By Cherno. Maybe. It probably was. Because... Reasons. The text. Good text. Hey, it's not mine. No, not the frog legs. Suwako uses those to surf. And I... Oh gosh, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Level 60. This is going to be super complicated. And I guess he's dead. Or nameless stage 2 mid boss. Yeah, that was a bunch of lily white. Lily White's not that bad. Level 79, cool. Yeah, their sprites, they're they're great, aren't they? The top notch, high quality sprites. As you can see, it took quite a while to get that critical. It was very unfortunate. They do! Because I was able to fight them a lot earlier. But I didn't, because I felt like only going to Gensokyo one time. I'm done with the outside world, by the way. There's nothing else to do there. I could have done this so much earlier, but I decided to do it all in one go. Karindo, finally back here. And by finally, I mean we are not back here anymore. Yeah, a lot. They are. They are the worst. They are great sprites. Also, navigating through this place blind, 
That was... that was sure great. I took the fastest possible path to get to the end here. I hope you enjoy seeing absolutely nothing. It was... Okay, and there we go. Level 47, because I could have fought her a lot earlier. I needed Surf to be able to fight the star ladies, the, the fairies of light, that's what they are. But all I needed was Cut to be able to fight her, so these levels are lower than the three fairies. Yeah, that's the joy of pressing B, frame perfect. <laughs> Level 80, it only took yeah, a, a bit of time, just a bit. Not too much, I guess. Yeah, probably quite a bit, actually. Eight. Tui is best Milotic. Milotic? Milotic. Whatever. It's it's a Pokemon. That's all that matters is that it's a Pokemon. And time to navigate the place backwards. Yeah. It's better than her front sprite, okay? Her front sprite is pretty bad. Also, I'm at the bamboo forest. Unfortunately, I was not able to go without using this repel. Oh man. So many ellipses. It does. Just those horns. And level 52. I'm pretty sure you can disable them, but it disables more than you'd like. So either way, you would still not be able to see. Because I'm pretty sure the path is invisible. It's set when you run into an encounter in the fire red and leaf green. So when I entered the area, it was... It counts how many grass patches you've stepped in, or encounter patches you've stepped in. And once it hits the amount, then you... Then you have to run into one. You can manipulate which one you run into, but you cannot make it to where you can't run into one. Unless you're using the emerald version. Oh gosh. And that was Zimoku. And by Zimoku, I mean Moku. There is a huge difference.
Not total number of steps, just number of encounter steps. Whereas in Emerald, it's based on the frame that you enter the grass, so you can manipulate not having any encounters using or without using a repel. Yeah. I thought about that at a point, but it just didn't work out, unfortunately. So I had no point or no reason. I had to move that far because I'm not able to fly unless I leave the bamboo forest and I had to walk like 10 steps to be able to. Carlet Devil Mansion. Set step counts. Ah, they they are the only games that. Well, I don't know. Maybe Ruby and Sapphire are built on a different em uh different engine than Emerald. Emerald. Wow. I'm ah speaking for three hours and twelve minutes is hard. Can you believe that there's less than an hour left? But yeah, this one is probably... <laughs> yes. Modified engine, it could be, I guess. So this battle probably took not the longest, but it's up there in terms of the longest because it's a double battle and I had to manipulate double things. Such as Ancient Power. I was playing Leapfrog on Suwako and I was winning. Oh man. She was using Confuse Ray on A and not A, so the Bright Powder was able to work. Oops. So the reason these are level 80 is because it only appears, or they only appear when you have Waterfall. And you can't get Waterfall until you beat the main game of, of the outside world, I guess you could say. This one took quite a long while, because I needed a max damage critical to be able to take out Ihina. And I barely got it, and there, during foe Ihina fainted, I had to manipulate a critical that would make her flinch. And I had a chance to miss every single- oh, okay, not make her flinch, just make her miss, fine. And then Brick Break just takes her out. Very convenient, I have A to back up A. I broke her buster sword. Does that count? And... I mean, why can't they just fly me to the top? Wouldn't that be so much easier?
Eh. I mean, it's possible, but I mean, it's more stylish. Why? That's exactly why, Hayes. I have no clue. Having to deposit everything would probably not be a good idea. Because then you'd only get there with a surfing thing. <laughs> and getting there with only a surfing thing is probably not good. Nope, no side path, because then I'd have to fight Momiji. <laughs> That's probably how it works. Spring is okay sometimes. Until all the bugs happen. Yeah. Letty is forever dead. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. So these fairies have a long range of sight and there's no way you can sneak past them. They don't, which is very nice. But, I mean, this one is a scripted battle, so yeah, it probably would start. Nice music. Okay. The music in this game, it sometimes goes out because reasons. I'd assume it does. That would be really weird if it doesn't. Focus punch things and it's great. It does. So, the lovely sound font is back again. Uh, 
I'm not sure. It is... It is kind of bad. If only... Some of the... Coding, yeah. Well... I don't know why I said coding. In terms of... Thinking things through... It's pretty bad. The English is also pretty bad, and the sound font is pretty bad. Oh, I didn't even need a crit to take her out? Wow, I fully expected to need the crit. It's amazing. Ancient Power definitely takes her out. I'm pretty sure I need the stat boost for the next one, just because... I don't know, I felt like taking her out in one hit. That, and... the whole I need power points thing. That's right, that's one of the reasons I get Ancient Power stat boosts. It's because I need to save power points for some things, and taking things out in one hit is probably the best way to do that. That is probably it. But man, I could have at least tried to make it a bit better. Graininess. That repel. Hey, Suwako. I'm going to bypass you and talk to Sane. Yeah. The experience is kind of terrible. I really wanted to get at least 5,000 from the Zisuako, but you know, whatever. Can't always get what you want. Look at this great sprite of Murasa. She is the manliest sailor ever. This is also great sound. There's nothing wrong with the sound, don't worry about it. Nazarin don't need to use focus punch Isho don't need focus punch X2 since she is a rock and electric type and as we all know rock is neutral against rock because it's just the way it works the most clipping in any sound ever. She is a fighting and normal type, so I could not use Rock Slide to take her out. I had to use Focus Punch.
her, however, I had I didn't have to use ancient power. But I did it to conserve power points of rock slide and it needed a crit anyways. I didn't manipulate the stat boost because I didn't need it. I had one rock slide left and that's what I needed for beating Imurasa. Since she is a ghost and water type. And focus punch would not do anything. Punching the Tohos in the face is pretty great. Because all it takes is one if they're not a ghost type or heavily resistant to it. Oh man, Murasa is Yuyuko and Sane, blue haired Sane. <laughs> Murasa, you really need to do things. Yeah. Which is silly. I could have gotten a lucky egg earlier, but... Eh. Then there's slow rolling hit points. No, uh, I'm saving power points right here. So I'm just focus punching. Because why not? Focus punch is cool. It is. If I got one earlier, it would be right after beating Kaguya, which was like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> 20 minutes, maybe 30. I figured it wasn't worth it because, yeah, getting it right after Kaguya this late in probably wouldn't help much. Yes. Obviously. I was lucky to not run into any encounters during this entire situation. Situation wasn't the right word. Whatever. And she just floats over. She doesn't even walk, she just floats. I also didn't say that Sonne does too. Boneka battle. Oh man, can you believe that Yakarin has blue hair or purple hair? It's hard to distinguish. Also, finally, finally, I get to learn about things. I finally get to learn how to fight. I it's been I've been wondering the entire time.
The one behind the incident is is the one creating all of the sprite shuffling. And the one who changed Biakarin's hair into Sané. And made Murasa very manly. It is, it has to be. Yeah, it, it was very deep blue. And I have to go right back to Makai. So after making it out of Makai that first time, I got fully healed. One step would have gotten me into an encounter. Doing that little shuffling right there was necessary because the way they turn is RNG and the RNG did not like me. And there we go. Matthew and the Bakai. Makai, did I say Bakai? Who cares? I shouldn't try correcting myself over things that don't need correcting. Oh man, I have to beat her in a Boneka battle. That sounds like it's going to be difficult. Yuki, aka a fire type. I could have gotten her to hit me with swagger and rose my attack, but I don't really need to. Because weak to rock, weak to rock. The next one. It is pretty good. Needed a crit, but Swagger would have kept giving me the A is confused text box. I did need the crit once, but it would have given me the attack, or the is confused two times, or three, one of those. No matter what I did, I would have had to manipulate a crit here. So I just decided to manipulate it with Rock's Ancient Power, that's what it's called. It's not terrifying. That's terrifying! Base 200 attack, special attack, and speed. And gets one shot by Focus Punch. Okay. 
Okay, I needed the stat boost. I remember why. I remember. Okay. It's because of the next one. Because of the next one that's very obnoxious. And because... Well, no, not the next one. No, not this one. This one's fine. Sort of. She's not fine, actually. Oh, but it did allow me to get a one-hit KO with Rock Slide, so that is pretty good. This is the one. <sighs> even with a crit, I can't kill her. And that was the last tome I needed. So... That means we just go back to Patchouli. Everything is fine. Gotta give her all of the magic tomes. And everything will work out perfectly. Yes. And past the 777,777 frame mark. Just thought I'd point that out for absolutely no reason. Mm hmm. Carlet Devil Mansion. Digging out of Makai makes sense, trust me. It works like that. And we just heard about something very interesting, so let's just go do that. Yes, that is her name. So since we never talked to her about going back to the real world, we have to talk to her once, and she says we need to regain our memories, even though we kind of have. The second time you talk to her, though, she takes you to Border Island. Pulls don't ban. Just please don't ban. Pulls don't ban me. This is pretty much the ending point after this. I fight them in a specific order because I can. Just what reason, any other reason I need. one-shotting something 13 levels ahead. It was vivid. It was a vivid. One-shot Z Vermilia with Focus Punch. She was. Is that is that weird? Is that not supposed to be what she is? Is she not a little boy? Here I use an ether. Why? Because I manipulated her to use memento.
And Z Rumia is a Dark and Steel type. But, without the Ancient Power boost, I would not be able to kill her in one hit. Mm-hmm. It is. It is a very high defense stat. <laughs> it's way too high. That and her HP. Since Zboneka have a total of 990 base stats. Letty, four times weak to Fire Blast. Dies, just... she dies. That's all. I really hope nothing just messed up with the stream. That's exactly what it is. But, this is originally what I was going to get rid of Cross Chop for. Earthquake. Okay, because something strange flickered, and I did not want something to happen this late into it. <laughs> that would just be a huge kick. Nice red ice. It's a dark type. It's weak to focus punch. It dies. So, why did you get Earthquake? Because... I mean, Fire Blast, Focus Punch, and Rock Slide have great coverage, don't they? Well, if you wait an amount of time, you will find out. She also has really high defense because Z Boneka, 990. No. 990 base stat total. Kikuri. She's fine. Yep. 
Yugen Ma is female. It makes sense. I can tell. Ancient power for a specific reason. I guess I did. Right, because I remember what the next one is. The next one is the reason I had to teach Earthquake. Because ghost and fighting. Rock isn't very effective. And fighting doesn't affect. Fire Blast would have done nothing, so Earthquake was the only chance I had to do anything. So, yeah, I'm fighting meme up. Uh. And I'm using a max elixir, that can only mean one thing. Memento? Yes. Cool. Hell, oh, Yuka? Pretty much can't do anything except Focus Punch because she's grass and dark. And fighting super effective, Rock is neutral, but wouldn't be good enough. It is! And Z, Yuka. You do exactly what you'd think you'd do. She did! It's so generic. Nothing can be ten levels ahead of me now. And fighting and psychic. That's another reason I needed Earthquake. Just level underflow and make it go to level 6,000. Oh man, saying something that literally no one would get. Z Mima is kind of terrible. She has way too much health and way too high defense. Is and Kana Ikotohime is, of course, a mill tank. It only makes sense. I had to manipulate her to use light screen because it was either she was going to use light screen, reflect, or yawn. And I didn't want to have to get all of the criticals because of reflect. Oh man, can you believe I was poked by the one and only Chihawa? I have been dying in a fire. Except not. I've been working on this is basically where I've been.
Oh, Kana. Her defenses are way too good. Oh, you may me. Four times weak to rock. Rock does about the same amount of damage as, po as Focus Punch. Rock Slide does the same amount of damage as Focus Punch. And Focus Punch isn't even four times effective. It's great. Elchiuri is weak to Earthquake because electric and water. Therefore, she is going to go rip. Okay, that was five trainers. And this is Yamame. These are very strange picks for the finals. <laughs> El Utsuho is always the best one to give me boosts from Ancient Power. I don't even remember what half of the things that appear in the League are, but I remember so much about the early game for absolutely no reason. But Spider is best Spider. El Satori, that's right! She is impossible. Her defenses and health are way too high. She is basically Wobbuffet. Yes, only. Okay, one more in the finalist. One more finalist, and then I am almost done. Oh man, raise all of the skill caps to 120. So, Riggle is kind of terrible, and by terrible, I mean she is a jerk. Her Z Boneka is just super annoying. Her Z Boneka is a poison type. And it is very obnoxious to kill. You will 
see in a small amount of time who it is. I think it's the next one? Also Princess Regal. No, okay, it's the last one. Swimsuit Regal. And then the final one. With all of these Regals, You'd think that the last one would be a Z Regal, but you would be wrong, because logic. Instead, it's Z Racin, who I had to get the absolute max damage and a crit to be able to take out in one hit. in a dress, it's so weird. And naturally, before going into the fight, yeah, gotta fight Biakarin. Swimsuit Wriggle being in the game. Dan's game. So here is where I started being like, okay, I don't want to use another ether, so I'm just going to do things in such a way that I don't have to. because superpower wasn't good enough, I guess. And Brofist just happens to be good? I don't know. Brofist is such a stupid name for a move. She is, and she is almost defeated. The last Boneka she has? I was so tempted to mess around with it. If I really wanted to, I could have made her use Invasion Green and Transform. And then I could just focus punch her into oblivion. And she would die. Because she would be El Suica with Inoue's stats. So I'd like you to remember the first Boneka we ran into in the game. Invasion Green is pretty much Transform. So she would have become a Rock and Fighting type and Focus Punch would have destroyed. So the first Boneka we ran into was a shiny C. Romilia, and she has a shiny L. Romilia. Coincidence? It's possible. Also, wow, can you believe that these Boneka were hacked? I mean, did you see... That there was a shiny in it. Oh man, that was... That was terrible, I shouldn't say that. Because that could have been taken the wrong way. I'm 
another shiny. Wow. Does she think that only shinies are worth things? Yep, there was a vivid and she died. It was pretty hilarious. And then Focus Punch killed. That's great. See, Reimu has 255 base HP, by the way. That's why it was going down so slowly. Z Yukari. I'm pretty sure I had to get max damage, but it might have been a little under max damage to be able to kill. It is apparently. Then Toyohime. If I didn't uh, if I didn't kill her with Earthquake, she would have used Destroy, and it bypasses Accuracy check, and is a one-hit KO. You can only use it once, but details. That was the champion. Now, oh man, that has to be all, doesn't it? No, it, it's not. There's a little more. Just a little more, but still more. Ew, Game Shark. That's cheating. Cool game. Just go and visit all of the areas. Including, you'll see sometimes there are cutouts like that. That just appear. I was like, oh, okay, I can just speed through all the cutscenes through this because they're just going automatically but there's always that one cutscene thing that has to be the worst and it's coming up soon it's the next one because naturally that one if you press a button then you can skip the cuts the cutout that's what it is in theory That's the only one. I have no idea why. It just, it was there specifically to make me have to do something during the credits. Not credits, these aren't the credits. Of course I'm not safe. Lily White Hell is great. Sometimes. Okay, so final battle in the TAS. And it has vocals because reasons. Alright, now since this is the final fight, I decided to just have a little bit of fun, because, I mean, it's the final fight. Why not have a little bit of fun? But DL Rumia is a ghost and dark type, I must remind you. Had to manipulate Break Break to miss, and then just defeat Z Flandre in one hit. If I didn't manipulate her to use um, Break Break, she would have used Destroy and one hit KO'd without accuracy check. And that's the last level I'm gonna grow in the game.
the very last level. And shiny a vivid. Three stat boost just because. Had to do something for fun. Shinky, you know, I could make up an excuse and be like, oh, well, I needed the three stat boosts to be able to take Z Shinky out in one hit with a crit, but no, that's not true at all. It's not. It was just for the very final one. I'd also like to point something out after this fight is over. I didn't use Focus Punch a single time. Without three Ancient Power boosts, I wouldn't be able to kill Z Mima in one hit. And just a little bit more and the task is over. ends upon final input and the final input is going to be really really soon the next a press okay not that one no not the next a press okay one punch yes i am sorry i didn't use one punch one time in the battle okay and Tass is over. And that was that. Yes. Non-directional punch. So that took a while to finish, and, okay, uh, and it was, <laughs> thanks, cool, thanks for the grats, world record tasks, oh man, I am so achieved, I am so accomplished, that is what I meant to say, yeah, it was close to sub 4. But, oh well. What are you gonna do about it? No big deal anyways. And put display off because I don't press any buttons anymore. That last input I pressed was literally the last input. Yeah, that's the one who made the hack. Thanks! It was probably not worth it, but it, it sure happened. Uh, VBA 
one, I think. It doesn't seem to ever desync. VBA 21, was it? I think it was VBA 21. I'll have to check after this. There is something else that I'm supposed to show after the credits, though. Because, I mean, what's the test without the credits? The ending of the test has to have the credits. Yes, console verification. Obviously the best idea. Uh, 23 point something. Special thanks and you. Okay, that was a random scene Tori, and then it grew up into a Sané. That's cool. My day was alright. I spent the past seven hours just actually I woke up at two. And that was pretty great. Okay. Now Re-record count, 43,670. Not as many as I thought, to be honest. <laughs>